I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but the clutch adjustment is way off. You can't even shift gears, it's so bad. So I'm hoping I can fix that with the uh, pedal here, because you can see it's got like <laughs> six inches of uh, slop in it. Um, so we'll try the pedal first. If we can get it to work, great. Otherwise, we'll have to check the clutch fingers. I think we can get at least some of it out with this. Stinking washer won't even come off. The guy just painted over everything and it's all stuck. All right. So I think I can just remove this from the pedal and then spin it uh, out, I guess. So I think if we just rotate this, maybe which way is out? I guess it'd be this way. Now that's about three, let's try that. See if that did anything at all. Actually, I think it did a little there. It feels a little bit better, it might be enough, but if it isn't, that's as far as I can get it out anyway. So I'm gonna put the washer and the cotter pin back in. If it works, great. If not, I'm gonna have to get underneath there on the uh, clutch inspection cover and take a look at the uh, clutch fingers. All right, I'm gonna try its first warm start and I'll see if the clutch works. If, if it does, I'll take it for a drive. So the tractor is obviously sputtering a little bit. It's not running as smoothly as it should. It was actually smoother than that when I first started it up. So just because I have them, I'm going to take these old spark plugs out and put the new ones in, see if that changes anything. We'll go from there. All right, I've got the brand new spark plugs installed. Let's try another warm start here, see if it changes anything. Well guys, I'm trying to stay positive here. All right, look right in 
in here. See how there's just a void? I bet you a dollar there's supposed to be some type of a spacer in there to prevent this very thing from happening. That is especially frustrating because I just got the Magneto all sort of rebuilt and timed correctly and, and now we have a bit of a setback here. And I'm sure this is cast iron also, so I'm not gonna be able to weld that. And it looks like that crack goes all the way through. Yeah, there's oil coming out right there. All right, here it is. You can see this is the bottom and this is the top. I've just got it upside down right now. This is, uh, you can see where it was leaking oil along the bottom due to the crack. I already did this off camera because I was curious, but I just wanted to show you this piece right here is just gonna come off. But if the crack would have been smaller and more uniform and easy to get to both sides, I would have attempted to weld it even though it's cast iron um, just to see because you know you don't have anything really to lose at this point. But this is just a jagged nightmare. Yeah. So enough talk about this. This housing is now trash. It's uh, quite disappointing, but uh, we'll uh, move on and try to come up with a solution for it. So what do you guys think my best options are at this point? My first thought is to find a new FMJ housing on eBay and then uh, move all the guts from this one into that new one and use that. Option number two might be to upgrade to a completely different Magneto, something that might be a little bit easier to work on. And the third option would be to convert this to a battery ignition with a distributor and coil and generator. I'd really rather not do that. I, I kind of like to keep a, a Magneto on this tractor just to sort of keep it as original as possible. And you know, Magnetos aren't cheap either. It looks like the rebuilt Magnetos on the market today range anywhere from like $450 to $650. That's why I keep coming back to option number one, which is to find a good housing for an FMJ. And then just to transfer everything from this onto that good housing and run it. But if you guys have any other ideas on how to solve this issue, please let me know. In the meantime. So as frustrating as setbacks are sometimes, I have to remind myself that this is just a hobby. I have other things in my life to be uh, truly upset about, so I refuse to be upset about this. It really just isn't worth it. Um, it's just gonna set me back a few weeks and a few extra bucks and some time. But in the grand scheme of things, it's just a tractor and we'll uh, stay positive and keep moving forward on it.